Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Mighty Joe here today. We're back with another episode of Game Dev Story, and we're gonna go a little long with this one because I'm fucking addicted to this fucking game, and I just thought I should probably record a video. Um, so we're gonna send these two on vacation. I have a full set of staff, by the way. I don't know what this spaceship is for on this guy, but we just got finished. Uh, uh, hold on. Let's go do game history. Since the last episode, I've developed a couple games. We did Dead Rising Mobile, which was an actual game by Capcom uh, a long time ago. So we got Dead Rising Mobile, Mega Man 2, God of War 3, Tron Evolution, Battle Grids, which was for the Wii and DS, Mega Man, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, Tron Evolution, uh, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, Dead Rising 2, and a couple others, I guess. Um, so now I think we're going to develop... Well, actually, first we need to do some research... We're going to research, uh, fuck, no, I don't want that. I want, uh, let's do moral choices, moral choices, and, uh, moral choices, and realistic weather. That's good. So let's wait for those two to finish their... Research me and a rose. Let's wait for those guys to finish their research. I don't know what that spaceship is for. It's pissing me off that I don't know what it's for. Alright, let's develop a sequel. Let's develop Monster Hunter Freedom. Medium game, action, and this one's going to be for P P PSP, Game Engine 9, let's develop Monster Hunter Freedom, it's a cool game, alright so we're going to put, we'll leave those there. Shit, I forgot to activate the extra stuff from the engine that I just made. My ninth engine. Let's put those. Alright. We got Monster Under Freedom, which was originally a PP... Uh, not PP. PP... No, fuck, I said it again. It was originally a PSP game. Advanced Stereoscopic 3D, hell yeah. Alright. This game's gonna be epic! Heck yeah, bro, we're getting so much fucking shit. Send on vacation, send on vac- Sorry, I'm not really talking about anything. I'm just enjoying the game, but I thought I'd make a video of it. Getting rid of all, getting rid of all those bugs, yo. Finish. Alright, let's see what happens. Did we get a new record? Yeah, new best. Echo, why'd you drop my Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection? My dog's sitting on the couch, and my copy, my PS4 copy of Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection was sitting on the edge, and she knocked it over. Because I don't have a PS4, but my friend's, his PS4 has been here all week, so I just bought a game. So why the fuck not? First reviews for our newly released game, Monster Hunter Freedom, came in. And I did some videos on it, too, if you guys want to go check those out. 10! 10! 9! 10! Jesus Christ! To make some serious money off of that. Now I say we do. Uh, surround sound. G3, large booth. All right, man. Alright, and when that's done researching... Hold on, let's actually research... Let's get one more new topic. 
Start research. Monster Hunter Freedom Sales are through the fucking roof, dude. Castlevania Lords of Shadow is still my most popular game, though. Alright, let's see. We were voted the number one boot this year. Sweet. For a fucking PSP game. Alright, let's develop a sequel. Uh, let's develop... Let's develop a new Spider-Man game. Ultimate... Spider-Man. Ultimate Spider-Man game is medium... Adventure... Pick the platform. It's going to be a Switch PC release. Actually, let's do Switch, PC, and uh, DS. Or DS or whatever. I don't fucking know. Uh, let's do 3D Graphics V3. And let's scroll down here. Video playback, basic physics. Full motion video. Alright, let's develop this shit, dude. I'll share some information about the fucking game. More on level design. Alright, man. Alright, dude. The fucking game interview sales record monster and freedom just went up five million sell sales yeah man my dude my bros making some serious money my, my bros oh yeah man fucking do it bro this game is fucking epic I'm gonna have to try to buy Game Dev Story and see how that one differs. I like I think I'm gonna like this one better anyways. Plus the sound of the little orbs going into the little like when you add up your orbs, it's so fucking satisfying. It's just like a little pop. It's like boop boop boop. It's fucking epic shit. The hype is 204. Let's get rid of all those bugs. What is that spaceship for? I don't know what that spaceship does. I think it's him, like, quitting or something. I don't know. I let it get up to, like, three, and it didn't fucking go away. Damn it, we really it with one bug. Alright. 3D graphics, V3. I'm at level 10. See reviews for Ultimate Spider-Man. Six. 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 Oh, okay, whatever. It didn't do that great. Alright, now let's do some research. Let's do... cool. No, let's do... Uh, AI Companions. And then let's also do... Uh, let's do... Fuck, I don't know. Uh, let's do... Dynamic World. That one seems good. Sales Record. Let's develop a new game. Small. Actually, no. Develop a sequel. Let's develop a sequel to... Mega Man 2. Mega... Man... 3. Small. Mbox next. Play System 5. And the swap. 
Next. Mega Man 3. We gotta do 2D graphics V1. Because that's what Mega Man is. Uh, no, we want online play. Because it's better. Alright, let's fucking develop this shit. Develop it, man. Ultimate Spider-Man sold 1 million copies or 1 million units or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, we're good. Rack up those fucking orbs, dude. Circles. Oh, no. Ultimate Spider-Man has some undiscovered bugs. We need to develop a patch. Alright, we're fucking epic as shit. Dude, Joseph Games is really fucking epic. Or fucking custom -y. I mean, custom -y, What the fuck? I, I meant company. I was trying to say customer and company at the same time. custom -y. All right, let's finish this game. Mega Man 3. Julian Turner got to level 9 and Amy Nenning got to level 5. Yeah, man. Special training available for Amy Nenning. First reviews for Mega Man 3. Hopefully they're not bad. They're mediocre. Actually, no, they're pretty bad. They're pretty damn bad. Ultimate Spider-Man sold 1 mil 1.3 million copies. Let's develop a sequel to... Let's do Resident Evil 4. Actually, no, we gotta do Resident Evil Survivor, that one, P P uh, that one PS1 game. Resident Evil... Survivor. Resident Evil Survivor, it's gonna be a medium game. Uh, adventure. You know what, it's gonna be a... I think it's going to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. We're going to do 3D graphic. We're going to do 3D graphics V3. We got that PS5 PS5 exclusive. All right, man, we're good. We're getting some epic fucking Oh, game review. Uh, Joseph Games has recently released a sequel to their game, Mega Man 2. The newest game in the series, titled Mega Man 3, was met with me moderate responses. Whatever, man, you just don't know that my game's fucking great. We're gonna do a, uh, small booth. No, we'll do a large booth. Large booth. Joe. Alright, we're good. Mega Man 3 did 500k units. Give me all the orbs! Oh, let's do these three. We got G3, bro. Yeah, man, we're doing really good, bro. Why do I keep saying man and bro? Send you on vacation, send you on vacation, and send you on vacation. Get rid of those bugs. Get rid of those fucking bugs. Hurry, guys, get rid of the bugs before we run out of time. We've been developing games for 40 years. Oh my god, Mega Man 3 is off the market. New best. Give me that XP, bro. Yeah, Bryce Henry is leveled up, now I gotta pay him more. 
All right, let's see what the fucking reviews are for this. Resident Evil Survivor. That was an old PS1 shoot 'em up game. Nine, ten, ten, nine. Sweet, dude. We're gonna make some serious fucking money off of this. Research. Uh, let's do. No, we don't want that. 2D graphics v4. 1 million sales. No, I don't want this to be my most popular game. I want I want to I don't want Resident Evil Survivor to be my most popular game. Cuz then I'm going to have to top it. I'd rather like Resident Evil 4 or 5 or something be Holy crap! I am so happy with uh, Nintendo's E3 this year. First of all, let me list some games if you guys missed it, which you probably didn't. Um, let's list some games that fucking come into E, fucking come to Switch. We got Minecraft Dungeons, which I'm actually excited for and I'm willing to play because it's literally Diablo 3, but with a Minecraft skin. It's fucking epic. We got Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Oh my god, I'm so excited for that. And then we got. The sequel to Breath of the Wild, holy shit. Fucking epic as hell. But the one thing I'm worried about is that one, is how are they going to make the open world? They have to, like... Honestly, if you're going to make a sequel to an open world game and have the sequel still be an open world game, you have to make the open world completely different and updated. So how are they going to do that if Breath of the Wild 2 still takes place in Hyrule? Like, that, I, like are they just going to, like, import the same goddamn f open world? That's just what I don't know. Um, Super Mario Maker 2, obviously, everyone's excited for that. Um, what was the other ones? There was Resident Evil 5 and 6. Holy shit, I'm so excited. And the next thing you know, they're going to put Ver Code Veronica X on Switch, maybe. And then maybe they'll put Resident Evil 7, like, instead of that shitty Resident Evil Cloud thing. I don't even know what it is. It just fucking sucks. Oh, I know that. Um, but I'm excited. Hopefully, they'll put Resident Evil 7. Hopefully, they'll put the Resident Evil 2 remake on there eventually. Uh, let's make a sequel to... It's been 11 years since Lords of Shadow. So let's do Castle... Avania... Lords... Of... Shadow... Mirror... Of... Fate. Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate. Large game. Uh, yeah, I want to keep it on Vampire. Uh, Adventure. Pick Platform. Mbox next. Play System 5. Swap. Game Engine 9. Oh, I gotta pick a topic. Vampire. Large game. Uh, 3D Graphics V3. Start development. Start that fucking development, dude. Oh, let's see if there's anything else we need to add. Okay. Game interview. Hype game. And then after the next Castlevania game I'll do after Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate is Lords of Shadow 2. And then after Lords of Shadow 2, I'll do um, uh, uh, Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate HD. And then after that, I'll do... Uh, Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth, and then I'll do I'll go back and do all the Game Boy Advance games and Game Boy games and stuff like that. And then I'll do Harmony of Despair. Uh, then I'll do you know, just a bunch of fucking games, dude. It's gonna be epic. Oh, uh, let's do a small booth. Why the fuck not? We gotta save money, my dude. Lords of Shadow, Mirror Fate. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not going to do Lords of Shadow, Mirror Fate HD. Because if I, I should have made Lords of Shadow on the, the DS or the PSP. Because now if I do an HD remake on the same consoles that it was the original version was on, it doesn't make sense. So I'm not going to do that. So never mind that. All 
All right, we're doing really well, I think. Well, we're obviously doing well because there's no way we're going bankrupt. At this point, I'm just creating a bunch of fucking games that already exist. That's literally what all I'm doing. And it don't make no sense. Oh, I think we got a new, uh, new best on the design. Send on vacation, send on vacation, send on vacation. Get rid of all those bugs, guys. Hurry, get rid of them. Get rid of the bugs, hurry. The bugs, get rid of them. Finish. Lord, Castlevania, Lords of Shadow, Mirror of Fate. Yes, we got new best on both of them. Oh yeah, my dude. Yes, we unlocked something and we raised someone's pay. 3D graphics v4, hell yeah, dude. Uh uh sell it. Lords of Shadow Mirror Fate. Seven. Six. Seven. Seven. Oh man, we didn't get super great game. Popular new topics. Let's do some research. Let's get realistic body language. Let's get a new topic. Cyberpunk. Game review. Joseph Game released the sequel to their game, Lords of Shadow. In the newest game in the series title, The Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate, was met with great responses. Critics praised Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate. Uh, had a newer engine than the original, really driving technic technical innovation. Sweet. Holy crap, I need to plug my phone in. My phone's gonna die, I think. We just got word that Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate, which was recently released, has wrecked over... Okay, whatever. Excitement of the game has seems no seems to have no fucking end. Alexa, how much time is left on my timer? We got seven minutes left, and then I'll probably add, like, five minutes to the timer to make the video extra long. Realistic body language. Alright, let's develop one or two more games before we do a new engine. Alright, Mega Man 3, we don't need to do that. Let's do... When was Dead Rising... When was the last Dead Rising game besides Dead Rising Mobile... Oh, wait, back. I need to go to, uh, uh, fuck, uh, game history. Where's game history? Right there. Let's see when Dead Rising 2 was released. Dead Rising 2 was year 34. Alright, so let's do Dead Rising 2. I mean, Dead Rising 3. So we gotta do a sequel to Dead Rising Mobile. Dead... Rising uh, 3. Large game. Let's have it be a Mbox exclusive slash Xbox next or whatever. Game Engine 9. Actually, no, let's do Xbox One and PC. 3D Graphics V3. Sweet, dude. Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate still making up some money. Uh, let's see what do we got. Alright, that's good. I gotta go to the bathroom. Jeez, man. I've been drinking enough Dr. Pepper to give me instant diabetes. Shit. Fuck. Go, guys. Develop faster. Develop faster, you fools. Develop! Develop as fast as you fucking can! If you don't develop as fast as fucking possible, I'm gonna murder all of you. Just kidding. I like to imagine that me, my little dude down here, um, the one that's separated from us, I like to think that he's yelling that kind of shit at people who are working there. Develop faster, you fuckers! You fucking twats! 
Let's send let's send him on vacation. No, I'll wait. I'll wait to send those two on va vacation. Oh god, get rid of I Santos. He needs a break. All right, okay. Oh god. Oh god, we're making so much g development orbs that are coming out of our brains and up to the top of the screen. Oh god. So many development orbs. We have 1.4 million fans. I just realized that. Dead Rising 3. Dead Rising 3. We gotta get rid of those bugs. Oh, let's do a large booth. Large booth. Large booth. Large booth. Large booth. Dear, near, near, near. Send on vacation. And send on vacation. Alright, let's get rid of those fucking bugs. Add them up. Do the aftershocks. All right, close that shit. Let's see, were we top? We were voted the number one boot this year, yay. I feel like we're either... I can't tell if we're either the... Because I wish, there's no, like, statistics on, like, other developers, which I wish they would add in a new update of this game, like, or just added it in the first place so you can see, like, all your competitors and shit. Um, but, like, seriously. Oh, and also, there is a way to get custom consoles in this game. That's fucking epic, and I need to learn how to unlock it. I'm actually gonna look that up. If I don't have it by the end of this episode, I'm gonna look that up. Dead Rising! Dead Rising 3! Alright. Dead Rising 3 is gonna make some major money for us, and let's, let's develop a new sequel. Let's do this, but let's actually do... Uh, hold on, wait. Cancel. When was that one made? Game history... Year 41. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. We can develop... An, no, fuck. Develop a sequel to this one, Lords of Shadow 2. Castlevania... Uh, fuck. Lords of Shadow 2. Fuck. Uh, back. Uh, pick platform. Let's do swap... PC, and that one. I don't really develop for the OEA anymore. Let's develop for the OEA. Actually, no. Let's develop for the empad. I never develop for the empad. Instead of PC, let's do that one. 1.8 million. Let's do 3D graphics feet 3. Sales record. Dead Rising 3 got sales record. Sweet. Sweet, dude. Fuck. Uh, Alright, we're good. That's good. Dead Rising 3 got over 1, one million sales. Alright, man. We're doing fucking good. We're, we're beating this game, even though we already fucking beat it. Have I mentioned that I fucking love this game? I'm never deleting this off my phone, ever. Ever! What's this? Uh, new topics at the moment. They like new topics. The fans. The fans want new topics, man. New topics. Uh. That's good, I guess. Dude, come on. Get all the fucking extra. All, everything. Get everything, man. Alright, let's click. Oh, fuck. Let's click on that little airplane. Or, I'm not airplane, spaceship. I don't know. I don't know what the spaceship is. It's pissing me off that I don't know what it is. Uh, let's get rid of him. Let's do... Fuck, no! Amy goes there. This guy goes there. This guy goes there. Fuck it, let's do it. Let me make sure... Yeah, we're recording. I was like, what the fuck? Let's send her on vacation. Send on vacation, and send on vacation. Alexa, add three minutes and four seconds to my timer. 
Dead Rising has been taken off the market. Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. Watch, Alexa! Cancel that timer. Let's just get rid of the- let's just finish developing this game and see what the reviews are and then I'll end the video there. Now let's click on that dude's spaceship. Alright, finish! We released it with a bug, no! Developing! Yeah, man. Due to an increase in experience, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what the reviews are. Lords of Shadow 2. No, it got bad scores. No, Lords of Shadow 2. Man. All right, let's save. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Game Dev Story, and I'll see, I mean, Game Dev, Game Dev Tycoon, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.